Hello everyone. <clears throat> My name is Julie Vancat and I am the teacher for Theology 103 this semester. I've been teaching this class for um, several years now and have been teaching for College of St. Mary's for seven or eight years. Um, I teach full-time at Mercy High School here in Omaha. I have a master's degree in theology from Creighton University and I also teach for Creighton University. But most of my time I spend at Mercy High School, with it, which is an all-girls Catholic school run by the Sisters of Mercy, just like College of St. Mary's. Also, a little bit about me. I am married. I've been married for 25 years to my wonderful husband, Dan. We have five kids. Our oldest is 24. Our youngest is 12. Um, we have four daughters and a son. And um, I love being a mother. That's my favorite thing. So you might hear me talking about my kids once in a while. Uh, I also love traveling and I have done quite a bit of traveling and I take students out of the country every other summer. So that's been also something that's given me great joy and helped me to see the wonderful creation that God made. Uh, this semester you're going to be studying about Christianity and the history of Christianity. And um, just a little breakdown of what you'll be doing throughout the semester and just how the class works. Um, you'll see that I post a video like this. I try to post it by Monday mornings. Um, and this video is a little bit of an overview of what you'll be reading, along with some information about upcoming assignments. Uh, the videos are usually less than 10 minutes, and I highly recommend that you watch them because I do share some important information through the videos. In this class, you will take four quizzes. Uh, the quizzes are 25 questions long. I think you have 45 minutes to answer them. Uh, do know about the quizzes and tests that they are all timed and once you start them you cannot pause them and you cannot go back to them. So make sure when you take these tests and quizzes that you allot yourself time where you won't be interrupted. Um, so you'll take two, four quizzes, you'll take two tests. The tests are basically the midterm and the final. The tests are twice as long as the quizzes and you have twice as much time to answer them. And you'll see also that each week I've posted some notes. This is just a list of people, terms, concepts, but um, I highly recommend that you use those to fill out as you do the reading and then you'll have those notes in front of you when you take the tests and quizzes. And definitely the challenge is to be able to answer the questions in the time allotted. You, do, you will have access to all the answers, but you do need to study first and make sure that you're organized and that you've taken some good notes. Um, sometimes you will do what's called um, uh, research kind of task. I'm, I can't even remember what I called it on the syllabi, sorry, but it's more like uh, further researching something that is talked about in the reading. And then sometimes you'll do discussion posts. And so um, the first thing, the tasks that you do with the research, these are just posts that you post yourself. You don't have to comment on anyone else's. They should be somewhere around three paragraphs and well worded. I do take off points for spelling and grammar and typos. Um, make sure that it's fully answering what I'm asking you to answer or researching fully what I've asked you to research. With the discussions, again, you want to be thorough. And in these, you have to comment on someone else's post. So usually these are due on Tuesdays. And then you have to comment on someone else's by Thursday. <coughs> Everything is due by 11.55 a.m. I do this on purpose because in the case that you're having technological issues that allows you time to work with the PC help people and um, they close at five. So I want to give you plenty of time to work out any problems with technology. Um, you will write a research paper and for this research paper you will also um, turn in a works cited page and an outline ahead of time and this causes you to be organized and to think ahead about what you're going to do and once you have the outline that should make writing the paper much easier. Um, I will try to grade things as quickly as I can. Usually I grade things within a week. If you need to contact me, the best way to do that is through the email that's listed on the syllabi and um, that's vancatj at mercyhigh.org. I will try to respond to your emails within 24 hours. Sometimes it gets kind of busy, so I will do my best with that. You can always call my cell phone or text me on my cell phone number, which is listed there. Oh, the lights went out. Sorry, my classroom does that. Um, if you um, would like to set up an appointment with me, I can meet you in person at College of St. Mary's or we can FaceTime or Skype. 
So uh, we'll be able to be in contact. Please let me know any of your questions. It's always true with online classes that you feel like you've really communicated well what you um, expect and then it seems like that's never true. So please feel free to ask me whatever questions you have. Please do stay on top of the homework. I do not accept late work. In order for me to accept something late, you have to have a pretty good excuse. So please um, stay ahead of the assignments. If 11.55 a.m. is a difficult time for you, try to get it done the day before. And you can work ahead. Everything is published, so you're welcome to work ahead on things. Uh, your first assignment for these two days, three days of class this week, is to read the intro, and then the intro, um, so there is Sorry, I'm looking at it in the book. There's a chapter one introduction, and then there's an introduction to the whole book. So you want to read both of those for this week. The prefits, the introduction, um, and the Old Testament introduction. Um, some of the big things that you're going to read about are the seven themes of religion, and you're going to read some of the basic important terms and concepts for you to understand when you're studying Christianity. Um, you will also um, read about some of the key questions or some kind of angles, points of view that people might ask about religion. And then there will be an introduction to what the Old Testament is. I know that you all have differing backgrounds in studying religion and some of you have never studied it. So again, if you have questions, please let me know. Uh, this week, your assignment is to introduce yourself, and there's some specific questions I want you to answer that are listed in the syllabi, so please do that by Friday, and I can't wait to hear about all of you and get to know you this semester.